Welcome back guys. So now let's select this face and let's create a sketch off of this. Now on the top right, we're going to select left to uh, fix that offset that was created. And let's go to the top and grab that line tool and we're just going to trace this reference here of the wheel guard. This is pretty uh, simple stuff. Let's just ensure we repeat that function so we can start from here and make our way to close this sketch. Now let's select this profile and let's press pull this. It doesn't matter how far you go out because we're going to be trimming this off. So let's go to the top view and let's select this face and create a sketch. Now we can uh, go to create drop down and select the three point arc. And we'll start from this point to this point and we'll get that little curvature. Now we use a line tool and from this point to where the line starts to transition again. Now we'll grab that arc once more. We'll select this point, if it will let me. Right click, go up, and repeat that last function. And we'll start from here to here. Now we have that curvature. Now what we can do is finish sketch. And we can split this body. So go to modify split body, select this. Now the splitting tool will be that line we just created. So let's turn on the sketch and select it. Now we can remove this excess body. So let's right click on this layer, go to remove. Now I think it's a good time to remove uh, the other half of the model so we don't have to duplicate the work. So let's go to the left side and let's just highlight all these and right click and go to remove. And now you can see where we're just going to apply the symmetry later on. Now back in the left view, let's create a sketch on this 2D plane. And what I want to do is grab the line tool and I'll start from the bottom corner and I'll go up and I'll repeat that function and I'll bring it over here. And here's a, uh, I'll delete this little uh, constraint. And by holding shift and moving this point, we can move it incremental. So if we want to offset that at angle, and let's fill it off this corner here. So we have some roundness when we start to split the body. So let's finish this sketch and go to modify split body. We'll grab this front two area. And for the splitting tool, we're going to use that line we just created. Now I'm going to show you guys a little secret right now. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, sometimes if we try to do a, a, a function on the model, say if we try to press pull this, sometimes uh, the history is locked into that, that, that body. So if you try to do any type of moving or at all, it does that. So to fix this issue, what you want to do is duplicate it. So we're going to go over here to the left side of the layers and we're just going to control C, control V it. So uh, we'll grab that. And we'll grab this part as well. And we'll control C, control V. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to go back and remove the original bodies. Now, if we try to do any function on it. So let's do a press pull. You see it only affects the area that we want it to affect. So that's a nice little secret. Now what we really want to do is cancel that. We'll go here and we want to offset this a bit. Just so it shows some uh, realism because uh, it's manufactured that way and it's offset from the actual hood. So let's press pull this front two area here and let's turn on that reference and go back to the left view so we can pull this forward a bit. Once satisfied, let's hit OK and let's just finish this thing off. So selecting this face, let's create a sketch. And what we're doing now, are we're going to start from here and we're going to create a giant box. And what I'm trying to do is bully in the inside out so we have some something to work with, and somewhere to sit. So let's press pull this we're going to just press pull this to the side. And here's another little shortcut. So if you turn off the canvas, if you select where you want the box to go, that's where it end. So I selected that surface and that's where the box ended right in the middle. So now let's go up to the top, select this uh, surface and let's create a sketch off of it. And let's grab this line tool and I'm just going to follow this reference. And what I'm basically doing here is giving the interior some 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 thickness. So I'll grab this surface here and I'll press pull this. 
And back in the left view, I'm just going to use this as a point of reference so I see where the floor of the interior is. Ensure that's on cut and hit OK. Now let's toggle this body off. And let's turn off the reference. And let's rotate to the side so we can see what we just created. We created a floor. Now we're going to go to Modify Draft. And we're first going to select this face, now this face. And we're going to just use the widget to uh, make this flat. Now that's pretty good. Now let's hit OK once we're satisfied. And we can also fill it this sharp corner here. So hit F on the keyboard and we can select that edge so we can round that off a bit. All right, now back in the left view, let's create a sketch on this 2D plane. Let's grab our two point rectangle tool to kind of outline uh, what we think the thickness of the windshield might be. Because there isn't an actual reference on this blueprint we have, so we kind of have to use the other reference images that we have in the background to fit that. So once we're satisfied, we'll just select the plane and we'll press pull this. And let's just press pull it to the to it extends beyond the the hood. And let's just further adjust this. So I think we should press pull this surface and just bring it inwards a bit till it intersects with the actual object. And once satisfied, just hit OK. And back in the front view, let's select this front face here and let's go to create sketch. Hit the front icon above on the right so there's no distortion. And we'll grab that two point rectangle to outline the windshield. And let's hit OK. And let's just press pull this to extrude this outwards just a little bit. And once satisfied, we'll hit OK and make sure it's set to join. Select that face again and we're going to offset this. So use the offset tool and grab that border. And let's just match this reference. And once we're satisfied, we'll just hit OK. And this looks, yeah, that's. I'll settle with it, that looks okay. Now I'll grab the surface and I'll press pull this so it cuts through the entire window. All right guys, so back in the left view, let's remove this body that we're not using. And I wanna go to combine, and I wanna combine this body, this body, this one, and this one here. Ensure the operation is on join and hit okay. Now back in the top view, let's select this surface and create a sketch. Now let's use our offset tool. We're just going to offset this to match the reference. And this looks good about here. And we'll hit OK to finalize that. And let's use our line tool. And let's just go from this corner to the center line. Let's just look at this reference and see the best way to tackle this. All right, so let's use this line tool here. And we'll just follow this reference. So I think we'll start about right here. We'll go down to about here. That looks good. We'll grab this profile and we're gonna grab this profile as well. And let's right click, press pull, and let's pull this down. And we want this to match the floor. Let's turn off this uh, reference so you guys can see this a bit better. And we're just gonna select the floor and now it matches the same uh, level. Ensure that's on cut. Let's, let's bring this up a bit. Let's hit OK. I just want to offset it just slightly. Now I'll select this face right here and I'll go to create sketch. Finish sketch. And that gave me some uh, profile so I can just right click press pull and I can pull this all the way through. So let's change that to new body, hit OK. I'm going to right click on this surface here and pull this up so it extends beyond that other body there. And if you combine them together, we'll go to cut and we'll cut this out perfectly. All right, guys. So back in the top view, let's toggle back on that previous sketch we used earlier. And we're going to select this profile and right click, press pull. I just want to pull this down just to about here. Make sure that's on cut. Hit OK. Now let's turn off those sketches. So we'll now repeat that last function. So we'll select this, create a sketch, finish sketch. So we have a profile to press pull through it and set it to new body, go to okay. And let's select the top surface and pull this up as well. So it extends beyond the previous model. Now let's combine these together and cut to do a Boolean operation. 
Select the surface and create a sketch. Let's use this two point rectangle and we'll start from somewhere around here and we'll just bring it to the bottom corner. Now we can press pull this to give us some geometry to play with. Now we'll select the bottom and press pull this and we'll have it match the bottom as well. Now let's return to the top view and let's create a sketch on this surface here. Now we'll use the two point rectangle tool to outline the seat. So from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, and we're gonna go and fillet this using the fillet icon above. And let's select these corners. And let's use the arrow to adjust it a bit further. And once satisfied, we'll just right click and hit okay. Now let's press pull this profile and return to the left view. And we're just gonna pull this up a bit so we can get that thickness of the seat. Let's hit okay. And let's just move this up to better match the reference. And I want to put it at a slight angle, so I'm just going to tilt this with a widget. And now let's hit OK. Let's duplicate this. Control C, Control V in the layers here. And we're going to position this to match the, the back support. So we angled it about here, and let's move it up a bit. And let's hit OK. Now let's return to the right view, select the surface, and let's create a sketch. Now I'll use the line tool here, and I'll start from about here, and I'll bring it down at a slight angle. And let's reference the top line and connect it with the one on the right. Now let's close this off. So let's right click, hit OK, and let's press pull these two profiles at the same time. And let's extend past the door. Once satisfied, hit OK. And let's go to Modify Split Body. And this body we're going to split will be this body. And the splitting tool will be the inside area of the door. Now let's go to the left side and let's remove that access area we just chopped off. Now let's combine the main body with the body we just created. Set it to cut. Now we're going to go to Modify Chamfer. And I want to chamfer this harsh edge here. So let's just move this up to about here, that looks fine. Let's hit OK. Now for the bottom area, we're gonna to go to Modify Draft and we're gonna select the inside surface, now this surface, and we're gonna use the widget tool to better position the area where the dashboard will be. And let's hit OK. So let's return to the left view and I think it's a good time to start previewing this and see how it looks together. So let's mirror all of these bodies over on this half of the canvas to the other end as well. So once we select this half, we'll go to the mirror plane and we'll choose this plane here and hit OK. And this is just a visual purpose just to see how we're looking all together. So with the next couple of videos, we'll start adding some detail to this basic mesh. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.